Greater New Orleans is busy recycling beads left on city streets after a long carnival season. And as Parker Boyd reports, the organization is working to change lives through its bead recycling. Russell Hardy recycles Mardi Gras throws at the Ark of Greater New Orleans' Mardi Gras Recycle Center. Sorting beads and pick, taking people's orders out. Hardy's been a part of Ark of Greater New Orleans' supportive development program since 2005. Ark helps people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. He says the organization has helped him in so many ways. Taking in groceries and stuff, and, you know money and all that. He says he's grateful for the opportunity to make a difference for his community by recycling Mardi Gras throws to keep New Orleans beautiful. Helping people like keeping the streets clean. But I keep the bees about out the, uh, the drains and stuff. And our job never stops. Arc GNO works to recycle throws left on the street, then package and resell them so they can be used in the future. That's called upcycling. That's why Executive Director Heather Matthews stresses for the community to put throws in recycling bins across the city. If they don't make it into the bins, they don't get recycled. And so it's just essential that folks find a place to recycle their throws and their Mardi Gras beads. Recycling Mardi Gras throws is something Bruce Warner takes pride in. It just uh, keeps it out of our landfills and keeps our drains uh, from getting clogged. The beads you see laying around in the sea don't just have to be used as a throw. They can be recycled and turned into things that you couldn't even imagine. Throws can be used to create unique designs like the ones you see here. When customers buy recycled throws, the proceeds go towards the programs ArcGNO offers for people with intellectual development disabilities. The organization says it's begun recycling throws for the St. Patrick's Day decadence and Easter parade. We can roll right into next year. We have uh, beads available for special events and parties too, so we're always ready to have a theme festivities. This means Russell Hardy has a lot of work to do. He says he owes it all to Arc GNO for improving his life and for giving him the opportunity to serve others. In Metairie, Parker Boyd, Fox 8, Local First.